Boom! Shake the room, Fire Nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass on what happens when you don't believe in yourself. And to drop these value bombs, I have brought none other than Dane Maxwell on the mic. Dane's pretty honest that he fumbled through life until he found entrepreneurship. And now he talks about this and so much more on his brand new podcast, Start From Zero, which I highly recommend you subscribe and listen to, Fire Nation. And it's an amazing show where Dane actually mentors people every episode live to show them how to make lots of money without compromising who they are. And he has over 15 million students in Counting Fire Nation. So definitely tune into that great podcast, Start From Zero. And today we'll be talking about self-image, strategy, tactics, and so much more as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsors. Fire Nation, would you like to listen to people who are beginners in entrepreneurship and see them get mentored into starting an actual business? We're talking a bunch of hot seats, and you can listen from the comfort of your headphones. My buddy Dane just launched a podcast doing just that. If you want to listen, visit startfromzero.com slash fire. That's startfromzero.com slash fire. Fire Nation, are you ready to think like an expert? We are hosting our first ever challenge to help you feel confident, attract the best customers, and make serious bank. And the party starts on February 19th. Fire Nation, we're going to blow your mind. So make sure to claim your spot today at eofire.com slash challenge. That's eofire.com slash challenge. Dane, say what's up to Fire Nation and share something interesting about yourself that most people don't know. Yeah, what's up, Fire Nation? And I think something interesting is that I can take just about anybody with the desire, no matter their circumstance, and show them exactly how to get a business actually started. Tangible, held in their hand, no matter who they are, as long as they have the desire, no matter their circumstance or situation, I can show them a map to build. And by the way, Fire Nation, I've been seeing that in play seven years now. Back in 2013, Dane invited me to this unbelievable mastermind, and I got to see his genius when it came to business and actually helping people through mentorship get to where they needed to be. And what I love is that you do it without compromising who they are as individuals, Dane. I mean, that's to me like one of the craziest, craziest things you're able to do in such a very special way. So that's why when you were telling me about your podcast, Start From Zero, I was like, we need to get on Entrepreneurs on Fire. We need to talk about this podcast because it's going to change people's lives. You're going to be live mentoring people, showing them how to make money and this incredibly diverse spectrum. We're talking, you know, people that are golfers, people that are waiters and wait. I mean, it's just going to be such a diverse spectrum. And I want you to break down for Fire Nation right now exactly why you decided to come back, launch this podcast, who's it for, and what's the deal with Start From Zero? We haven't had a golfer on yet. I know I did mention that in the offing, but I bet we will. But we talked about golf in one of the podcast episodes, and I would love to have a waiter on as well. It's going it, to happen. Because, or a waitress, because you know, if you're a waiter or waitress, you're dealing with a bunch of stuff every day. If you can navigate being a waiter or waitress, I think that would probably be more stressful than trying to start a business. <laughs> um, and so Start From Zero is a, such a cool podcast to me because I looked out at the landscape of podcasts and I saw what wasn't being done. And you know, you look out, you see a bunch of interview podcasts, which if they're done well, they're great. Um, you see you know, different talks on startup funding, marketing, but they're generally people just talking about concepts. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to do a, a, like a hot seat podcast where I was like, listen, I just want to demonstrate that starting from zero is possible no matter what the circumstances. So I'm going to take people who are starting from zero. They're going to come on the show. They can be anonymous. So they're so like if they have a job, the business doesn't have to know they're wanting to leave the job. And they come on anonymous. They maybe just use their first name. And they tell me their current situation. They tell me what their dream goal is. And then I show them the exact path they can walk to make that goal a reality. So like the last three episodes I've released here is one is called Colette learns how to make $100,000 per month. So, you know, Colette is sitting on a gold mine and, you know, she just got her yoga teacher certification and she's like, okay, I got my yoga teachers, teachers for certification. What should I do? And I said, I don't think you should do anything with that. <laughs> she, but I, you know, I just, so she, she like thought she had the thing, but then turns out she was sitting on another gold mine 
that I showed her how to make a hundred thousand dollars a month with. And it's very tangible. You'll see it. It's, it's, it's not an opinion. It's, it's broken down in mathematics. You know, there is a certain realm of business where crystal clear clarity can arrive. And when things are broken down in such a clear manner, then, you know, a lot of us have so much fear, like just to, you know, I'm looking at a book right now called napkin finance, build your wealth in 30 seconds or less. Right. And just the aspect of thinking about investment or investing unconsciously and automatically triggers my brain into a stressful state. Like I, like I, I, I just realized this just today, excuse me, I'm going to get some kombucha, but just today I realized this. So, you know, napkin, napkin finance, build your wealth in 30 seconds or less. My brain is in a high state of stress around investing. It just seems like, well, I'm either broke at the end of my life or I have a lot of money and there's no in between. And it's, it's, it just, it's very irrational. You know, it doesn't, ma- it doesn't matter that I have a multi-million dollar software company. It doesn't matter that I have income streams. It's just weird. So I see napkin finance, build your wealth in 30 seconds or less. And the stress in my brain is like, okay, no matter how stressed I am about investing, I can give my head around 30 seconds <laughs> in a book. With entrepreneurship, it can be a similar trigger for people. So just the word entrepreneur, just the word starting a business can bring up so much fear and so much inadequacy and so much of a struggle with just not even believing in yourself or, you know, not even believing that you could help someone or not believing that you're worthy of selling something that someone would want to buy or that you're worthy of creating something to the spectrum of all, all kinds of different situations. When you listen to start from zero, you see all these beginners coming on and getting clarity and direction based on their unique situation. And what's really interesting is doing the podcast. I've done about 35 shows now um, recorded. They'll be released over time. But what's happened, John, is it's actually transformed my confidence as an entrepreneur because now that I've sat with 35 people and each one of them at the end is pretty much like, holy crap, I can actually do this now. I just was missing a few of the right things. After doing that, I can tell you with like resolute clarity that it's possible and that I pretty much say the same thing on every episode. I just have to tailor it to the person's situation. And I can even tell you the theme that runs throughout all the episodes, but you might it might be good to leave that hanging so you could actually pick up the theme yourself. <laughs> so when you actually get the theme, it's yours and it's in your language. So what'll happen is as you listen to the podcast and you listen, and the podcast is 50% men and 50% women, because I really think that women deserve a place in the entrepreneurial realm. And I see a lot of women actually wanting to start businesses, but not even knowing how to ask for help in the first place. So we've got 50% men and 50% women on the show. And it's been, it's actually been pretty interesting. Uh, Mentoring the women is actually quite a bit different than the guys. How's that for answering the question? Dane, it's absolutely knocking out of the park. And okay. Fire Nation, what I want to do is actually step off the podcast host role for a second here and kind of into the friend role. Because as I mentioned a couple of times already, Dane and I, we've known each other now for seven years. Like I've listened to this guy on other podcasts, on my podcast multiple times. You know, we've met in person, we've done masterminds together. That is truly Dane's gift is he is able to clearly articulate what your next step should be because so many people struggle because they're looking 10, 15, 30 steps down the line and then they get nowhere because they're stressed and their wheels are just spinning. Dane, you just break it down for people so clearly like, hey, this is what you're great at right now that the world actually wants. This is the next step to get you going in that right direction. This is how you start from zero and get to one. Not start from zero and get to 1,000 tomorrow. We'll get you to 1,000, but it's one step at a time, zero to one to two to so on and so forth. I'm doing yoga right now, and my yoga teacher is a very gifted technician, good at a technical cut to yoga, very new to entrepreneurship. So, you know, he called himself a business owner, and I said, listen, I'm just going to be really direct with you. You're not. You're a technician. Uh, you'll be a business owner when you make money if you're not working. And so technicians trade time for money. Entrepreneurs trade time for freedom. That freedom is a technical term called equity. So um, once you learn, and like basically everybody that comes to me on the podcast, they're technicians. They're super good at something. Zero entrepreneurship skill. And entrepreneurship skill, the only two skills that you need, 
like literally the only two skills you need to be an entrepreneur are selling and outsourcing skills. If you can sell, then you can outsource product creation, outsource everything. But if you can sell and outsource, then you can be a really successful entrepreneur. The thing is, most of these technicians, most of these people that come to me, actually all of them that come to me, gifted web developer, gifted yoga teacher, gifted X, Y, Z, but they aren't entrepreneurial. So once you learn that, dude, I just need to focus on selling and outsourcing. But then you also learn the basic fundamental building blocks of a business, not of being a technician. Because what the, the great fallacy or lie is, is that you're, you're supposed to become technically gifted at a craft, right? Well, if you were to take John, like your, your podcast, John, if, if you wanted to go like crazy entrepreneur and like get out of technician role, you would probably start five podcasts in five different niches with five different hosts and you'd own the whole thing. Yeah. Right. That would be that's that's in the realm of business ownership. John's just super passionate about podcasts, so he does that stuff. Now, this is the thing. Once you get that a technician trades time for money and an entrepreneur trades time for freedom, an entrepreneur trades time for equity, look at how this starts to compound. If every single day as a technician, you trade time for money, at the end of the day, you have nothing to show for it except for the money you've made. And if you stop working, you're done. As an entrepreneur, if you wake up and build equity every single day, and building equity is not that difficult. In fact, John's building equity right now by interviewing me on a podcast. This thing will work with work without him. Big time. Like, and, and that's equity. It's not, it doesn't have to be complicated. Um, if you build equity every single day for the next 10 years, you'd be so flipping rich. You won't like, you'll have whatever cars you want. You'll have whatever house you want because you're building equity every day. So entrepreneurship's not this mysterious thing where there's the haves and the haves nots. As it, as it looks to you, it's like, okay, it's this mystery and I got to get lucky and I got to hope to find the great product that everyone was going to want to <laughs> buy. Like that whole focus realm creates all the stress, all of it, because there's comparison, there's ego, there's identity, there's all this stuff in it. When if you break down the fundamentals of a business, it's like someone's got a painful problem and they want to pay to solve it. Like that's, that's it. Like there's no other magic. It's seriously, someone's got a painful problem, they're willing to pay to solve it. So what I wanted to say is this technician entrepreneur distinction. That's something that I picked up after doing the 35 episodes. And um, if you if you really start to wrap your head around this and you make a commitment that, you know, when you go to bed at night, you'll have built a little equity that day. Just a little. You know, my, my buddy's got an email marketing consulting business. He does email marketing for e-commerce. Really cool. He does like the tried and true stuff, you can come into an e-commerce business and generate 50 to 300 grand extra with just doing proper email marketing tactics. So he's trading time for money as a technician. So he built a, a, a course, you know, it's around six grand that a e-commerce store could buy instead of having to pay him the four to five grand every month. So what happened? as he's now starting to transition to equity. So he's been having a difficult time with that business because personal issues come up, like self-esteem, self-image, the emotional blocks. And those stuff, those things are actually addressed on the podcast. Because a lot of times someone will come on and they'll just need tactics. And other times someone will come on and, I, and you can tell, like, for example, someone comes on, they say, I've wanted to start a business for eight years. And I say, okay, cool. So why haven't you started it yet? They're like, well, I got married, I had a kid, um, I had a job, we got a house and I said, listen, I'm going to make this really simple for you. Okay. The reason you haven't started a business yet is because you don't believe in yourself and that's it. And that's okay. You just don't believe in yourself and all this other BS is window dressing to the window of, I don't believe in myself. And all that needs to happen is an honest recognition. You're like, crap, that's all this is crap. I, oh my God, <laughs> that's all it's been. So you write down, I don't believe in myself. I haven't believed in myself. All it's been is I haven't believed in myself. And you just look at that and let it land and cry it out. And you'd be like, okay, I'm ready for a change. So like this emotional stuff. So we come back to the email marketing. He's going into um, selling this course and he's been having a real tough time because the amount of wealth that he can make with it is a big upper limit. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of resistance. There's also fear of clients maybe attacking him. There's all kinds of stuff that goes on in this. And 
what I told him is I said, listen, if you just spend 15 minutes a day building a little equity towards that course, that's all you need to do. Just 15 minutes, man. So he's getting testimonials together for his clients. So his current clients, he gets an email testimonial for. Gets like one or two a day, right? Then he gets a table of contents together for his course. Then he gets the sales letter together for his course one day. Then he starts writing a few people that are interested and sees if they want the course one day. Just 15 minutes today or so of building equity is all you really need. So as a technician, at the end of the day, you to start making the transition to entrepreneur, you need a fervently strong desire to starting to build equity each day. So I kind of want to break in here for a second, Dane, because you're really hammering this point home and Fire Nation. I want to just share with you that what did I do for 2,000 days in a row? I woke up and I built a little equity that day. I released an episode of Entrepreneurs on Fire every day for five and a half years, every day for 2,000 days in a row, and not overnight, but over time, that building equity compounded, uh-huh. and guess what? Now, Entrepreneurs on Fire has been a multi-million dollar net profit a year business since 2013, every year going forward, because of that every piece of equity a day. When did you start making money, John? I started making money at month 13. Oh, let, let, me, let me answer it for you, and then you tell me. You started making money when you started selling stuff. Yes. So can you say more about that? After 13 months, I asked my audience, point blank, what is it that you're struggling with most? They told me, in a nutshell, John... I love the idea of starting my own podcast around ballet or golf or fitness or music, whatever it might be. And I said, wait a second, you would actually learn from me, somebody who just started podcasting a year ago, how to podcast? (laughs) They said, well, of course, you know so much more than me. I launched Podcasters Paradise. That month, we made $92,000 in course sales, and we haven't done under $100,000 net profit in revenue since I started selling that stuff to your your question and point, Dane. Amazing. And, you know, you're only a year in, you know, how, um, how I think, I think this comes up on one of the, uh, one of the episodes to start from zero, if it hasn't, it will come up soon, but there is a tremendous amount of money lost overestimating, uh, customer's intelligence. Like you're like, wait, you want to know what microphone to buy? Right. You want to know how to record? You want to know how to upload it? You want to know what to call? Like, I'm like, you wouldn't just Google that? You wouldn't just do that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 6,000 clients later, almost $7 million in revenue later, the answer, Fire Nation, is no. They want the step-by-step hand-holding guidance, which, by the way, also comes with access to me and my strategies and things that work. So it makes sense because I've done the same thing with other courses, too, and I'm sure you have, too, Dane. Well, yeah, you know, I was walking around a, a lake with a guy once, and I was tr- he wanted to buy my course, and I was actually trying to get him to go to Google. I was like, man, you don't need my course. Just, <laughs> just go to Google and type in this and then search this and then read these three books. And he's like, yeah, but left to my own devices, I think I'll probably still fail. I just want to get your course. I'm like, <laughs> all right, all right. So we could keep going on and on about this stuff because it's super important, but I didn't want to bring it back to this Fire Nation. I want to talk about the power of the hot seat and what Dane is doing within right. Start From Zero with the hot seat because, Dane, I don't even think you know this, but just last month I actually hosted a 45-person in-person mastermind down here in Puerto Rico at my home, like opened up my home, wow. brought people here for a full weekend. It was an absolute blast. But what is the only thing that I did over those three days? I put every single person on a hot seat and I broke down their business, their funnel, their biggest problem, you know, what their main traffic generator is and how to actually get them to being able to offer the right offer the right uh, the right product to the right individual at the right time. That's all that we did. And Fire Nation, Dane is starting a virtual hot seat via a podcast. And that's actually what I want to get into right now is why Dane went the podcast route. But Fire Nation, you're going to have to wait until we get back from thanking our sponsors. Hey, Fire Nation, let's welcome my friend Dane talk about his brand new podcast, Start From Zero. Thanks, John. And what is up, Fire Nation? So if you'd like to watch me mentor people and show them how to make lots of money starting from no idea or experience without compromising who they are by teaching the hidden fundamentals of what works, then you can head on over to our new podcast. Now, we have over 15 millionaire students and counting, so what we say works. And you can listen to this while cooking dinner, working out, or driving to your job. Think of this like a series of hot seats where people come on overwhelmed and leave with clear direction, but you can listen to these 
So try a couple minutes of one episode just to see if you like it. One listener said they learned more in one day of binging the podcast than in the past five years. So if you'd like to listen, go to startfromzero.com forward slash fire. Again, that's startfromzero.com forward slash fire. Fire Nation, I've been there. The imposter syndrome strikes again. Who am I to do this? What if it doesn't work? What will people think of me if I fail? The imposter syndrome hits us all. And for me, well, I like to call it my $100,000 mistake. I mean, it's true, Fire Nation. I stalled on the launch of Entrepreneurs on Fire because I was scared. What if no one listens? Who am I to launch a daily interview podcast? A month into my mountain of excuses, my mentor actually said she was going to fire me if I didn't launch. So I launched and Fire Nation if I would have launched when I was supposed to, I would have been one month ahead. And now that my business generates over $100,000 of net profit every single month, that's a $100,000 mistake. What I needed back then was to feel confident. I needed a mindset shift to be able to ditch my limiting beliefs and just go for it. As you know, luckily I did launch and the result of launching Entrepreneurs on Fire, freedom. If you're ready to feel confident, attract the best customers and make serious bank, join myself and Kate along with Jill and Josh Stanton from Screw the 9 to 5 for our five-day Think Like an Expert Challenge. The party starts February 19th, so claim your spot today at eofire.com slash challenge. That's eofire.com slash challenge. So, Dane, we're back, and it was good hearing from you over the break as well, being the featured sponsor of the episode. (laughs) So thank you for that, for sure. But the reality is, as a teaser before the break, getting into... Why podcasting? Because you're so good in person. You're so good walking around a lake with an individual, just one person, convincing them not to buy your course and to just Google stuff and read books. Why did you go the podcast route for Start From Zero? Well, to me, it's a tremendous amount of fun to do the podcast. It, it felt like an expression of art. That's for me, like the selfish side. I also thought it would help sell more copies of my book, right? That's, that's the selfish side. What ended up happening is I found out how much I love it. Yes, you're so good at it. uh, Thanks. And like I was like, dude, I am so good at this. What? Because I don't know. Someone comes on a podcast. They say, okay, I've got this and this, and my goal is ten grand a month. And all of a sudden, like my brain just shuts off. It's like (laughs) it's like the lights go down in the movie theater, and I'm like, all right, do that. They're like, holy crap, wait, what? Okay, thanks. <laughs> and so it's like like when you're talking about your 45 person hot seat, it's like, oh, I want to listen to every one of those. <laughs> and I was like, they're so fun. God, you learn so much on hot seats. And there's there's not, nothing like this out there in the podcast world. So I said, why not take beginners, bring them in and mentor them and, and, and show, show, them how, show them how it's done, basically. And Dane, why I love this model is because I promise you the feedback that I got from this 45-person mastermind, and by the way, I've been doing things like this now for six years, so I've done multiple of these events every single year, live, in person, putting people on hot seats, et cetera, et cetera. The feedback that always blows people away, because they don't expect to be giving this feedback before it starts, but now at the end, they're telling me, John, I loved my hot seat, but I absolutely loved listening to other people's hot seats because I got so much from X, Y, or Z person's struggle, obstacle, challenge, because it's outside the box. It's in a different niche. I never thought about that before. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I want Fire Nation, you, the listeners, and the listeners of Start From Zero to really understand is that, guess what? Person X might not be exactly who you are right now, but believe me, the value you're going to get from listening to Dane break it down, break them down, and build them back up is going to be absolutely priceless. And who knows, some of you listening to my voice right now and Dane's voice right now might be a future guest on Start From Zero. I mean, how does that part of the process work, Dane? How do you find these individuals? It's become pretty competitive um, because people really want to get mentored. So what I did is I just made a few steps in order to do it. So what, what I ask people to do is to subscribe to the podcast, rate and review the podcast, and then send a screenshot of it in to enter into the chance to become a one-on-one. And what's the email address they send it to? Hello at startfromzero.com. Fire Nation, I mean, this process is not super difficult. You go, you subscribe to Start From Zero, listen to a few episodes, just see how, if you like it, see if, if, if it's your thing, and then give it an honest rating and review. Guess what? I bet Dean's going to get a couple of people on the show that give him two, three, and four-star reviews because he's not looking for just people that are just giving him five stars. Give an honest review. You know, I gave it a five-star review because I think it's a five-star podcast for sure, but give it an honest review. Send him the screenshot, and then guess what? There's a chance that you could become a guest on the show. So keep talking us through this, Dane. Like, what's your vision for the future of Start From Zero? 
Well, I just want to say, like, I just love helping people start, like, the doubt they have and the fear they have. Like, you know, it's just, like, to come up behind, like, a fellow brother, you know, and he's like, man, I don't even want to say I want to start something because I'm just so scared to even say it, you know, and I just want to put my hand on their back and be like, dude, I believe in you and I know you can do this and I know I can help you. Here's what you need. And that's, like, a pretty, that touches something pretty tender in me. And and, and, you know, I had, um, that yoga teacher that friend that I talked about earlier in the podcast, he listened to the, he, he, um, I gave him the podcast and I think, I mean, honestly, the podcast is brilliant. Like the, the, the podcast editing is so good. Like our episodes are whittled down to only the 30 minutes you need. It's high, high quality audio production. I, I hired five podcast engineers, gave him an episode and picked the very best sounding one and to go, to go forward with. It is dialed in brother. It is dialed in. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, like, and like, I don't run certain episodes of people if I don't think it'll add value. Like I cut episodes, like it's just, it's like, it's an expression of my heart for the business world. It feels like sacred work to me. And the guy that listened, he said he binge watched it um, all, binge listened all yesterday. And he said, in one day of listening to Start From Zero, he's gotten more than out of five years of listening to Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, and this other big CEO guy. He said he got more in one day out of listening to Start From Zero. And that's because, you know, Ty and Grant and these guys, they're really gifted promoters and salesmen and educators in some sense of the word, but they can get a little rambly sometimes. They can sometimes veer from the point, but I think if they got in front of someone and mentored them at what to do too, they'd probably have pretty good shows. Hey, listen, they they would have pretty good shows if they did those type of things. And listen, those individuals, they've been on my show. They're good people. They do what they do very well. But the reality is this. They're up in the clouds. I'm not going to lie. Like they're up there flying mm-hmm. the jets, you know, driving the fancy cars. They're there and they talk like they're there, understandably so. What Dane does, Fire Nation, is he brings it down to ground level where I was when I started back in 2012, where many of you listening right now are right now or were very recently. And then he breaks it down, you, me, other individuals starting from zero and taking that next step. In terms of vision for the show, it's to create a world where entrepreneurship is no longer a struggle for people, period. The stress is gone. The uncertainty is gone. It's now nourishing. The stress response to entrepreneurship's gone. Like if if you so there's um there's so I got here's a couple like episodes for example like in terms of hot seat he learns how to leave his career behind. So here's one with Mark. He's talented. He's got a family of four. How could he leave his How could he leave his career behind if he only has one hour a day? I tell him exactly how. There's another gal. She works 16 hours a day and she's a leading educator in her field, but she wants to build this software company. I tell her how to do that. They get this other guy. He's been looking at starting an Amazon store for months, buying courses on Udemy and things like this. He's getting nowhere and he's buying courses. And in one 30 to 40 minute talk with me, he got more out of that. And he's now going to be successful and has direction instead of going through the hours of courses he bought. So these are all different hot seats that you can listen to. And like, I'm telling you, like all, all you really have, like, you think about this for a second. There's all these courses that have hours and hours of training, right? But I, 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 I purport that if you, all you actually need to be successful at starting a business is probably, I just need one hour of your attention. And I can tell you exactly what you need in one hour. And I just happen to do that over and over and over again on each one of these episodes. So each of these episodes, I end up saying the same thing, but it's matched to their certain situation. And the one is how to get them out of being a technician. The other is how to do sales and outsourcing. And the final thing is the spinal cord of a business, the super clear spinal cord of a business. And if you get the spinal cord of the business right, then you're really you're really solid. So these episodes are so action packed and so specific and so nourishing to listen to that my friend binge binge listens to all of them in a day and gets more out of one day than he did in five years because of the simplicity of what's being taught. It's actually it actually will enable you to take action. But at this point, I feel like maybe I'm trying to sell it a little too much. And that's not my intention. I'm just, I'm just hoping that when people listen to it, they, the action gears in their brain get bigger. Their brain is going to get bigger, Dane and Fire Nation. This is, you know, just my strong call to action that if you want to just see real people getting real results in a well-engineered, well-thought-out, 
very constructive format, then check out Start From Zero. And Dan, we've talked about a lot of things today. I just want to hand the mic over to you, a fellow podcast host now, which is so amazing, and kind of take this home for us. Like, What's one thing you really want to make sure Fire Nation gets from you know, just everything you've learned over the years, whether it be about self-image, strategy, tactics, like yeah. you're just great about all those things. Pick one thing, give us one strong value bomb, and then we'll say goodbye. Well, as far as I know, I'm one of the few teachers in the space that blends self-image, emotion work, identity, and entrepreneurship. And I think that's why we have people that go on to become leaders of their industry. Because when you learn pattern recognition around your own issues, around your own emotional problems, and you start to do pattern recognition on yourself, it innately starts to install pattern recognition for you to use in different industries you go into. And when you start just automatically running pattern recognition on different industries, you start kind of elevating to the top. What I want to say for the the value bomb is is like, there's certain things we want to be very humble with and certain things we want to have a tremendous amount of reverence for. One of those things that I'm continually humbled and sobered by is the concept of self-sabotage. Self-sabotage deserves a tremendous amount of reverence. Like I'm on my knees, hands in the prayer position, like I am not going to try to be smarter than my unconscious patterns because I'm going to get ruined by them. And for me, self-sabotage is the primary focus because I can see my vision, I can see what I want, and I can also see the sabotages, saboteurs coming in. And it shows up in very subtle ways. For me, at the, at the level that I play at, which is, you know, around the seven, the small seven figure range business range is where, is where I play in business. I can see that I self-sabotage by not clearly defining a customer. I get away with having kind of a, a blob of customers, but I don't clearly define a customer to, to target for, for a certain business. Other businesses I, I do better at, but sometimes it's certain businesses bring up certain issues. You know what? If I'm actually honest, it's not clear about anywhere. That's my self-sabotage point. So if I sit down with a sheet of paper and I try to write out a clear customer, I can feel my brain start to shut down. I can feel my body start to get nervous. I can feel my start to get nauseous in the stomach. So what I do is I approach that work reverently and with humility and say, okay, I'm not going to try and outsmart this unconscious pattern. I'm not going to try and outrun this pattern. When I work at this level with people and with myself, the results are permanent. The results are profound. And you'll actually see some of these types of situations come up uh, in the podcast. So reverently hold self-sabotage. Don't beat yourself up if you've got it because we all have our own versions of it. And once you see that you're okay if you're judging yourself, you're okay if you're stuck, you're okay if you're struggling, you're okay if you've been looking for years and still haven't done it yet because you've just probably been missing what I'm saying right now. So if you want more information, listen to the podcast uh, and get some other free stuff. Actually, you go to startfromzero.com forward slash fire, startfromzero.com forward slash fire. That's the one page we have set up where you can get access to subscribing to the episodes. You can even get a free excerpt of my book if you want. But what I really recommend is I want to have a relationship with you. So please do listen to the podcast. Let me know what you think. And then also, if you want to be on the show, you can find out how to do that there too as well. But startfromzero.com forward slash fire is a place to go to begin our connection. Fire Nation, you know this. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And hello, you've been hanging out with Dane and JLD today. So make sure you keep up that heat. And if you head over to startfromzero.com, just click the word podcast. You're going to go check out the podcast. You can find it obviously in iTunes, Spotify, all of the great places around town that it's at. And Dane, I just want to say thank you, brother, for sharing your value, your truth once again with Fire Nation. For that, we salute you and we will catch you on the flip side. Fire Nation, would you like to listen to people who are beginners in entrepreneurship and see them get mentored into starting an actual business? We're talking a bunch of hot seats and you can listen from the comfort of your headphones. My buddy Dane just launched a podcast doing just that. If you want to listen, visit startfromzero.com slash fire. That's startfromzero.com slash fire. Fire Nation, are you ready to think like an expert? We are hosting our first ever challenge to help you feel confident, attract the best customers, and make serious bank. And the party starts on February 19th. Fire Nation, we're going to blow your mind. So make sure to claim your spot today at eofire.com slash challenge. That's eofire.com slash challenge.